and welcome to News 6. Today's show features the sixth grade classes of Fayette Elementary. For our first story, here's Shelley Beaverson. At our school, special awards are given out, but the awards are not for the students who run the fastest or jump the highest. The Newberry Medals are for the students who read the most books during the year and report on them. A sixth grader has to read and report on eight books to earn a medal. Fifth graders only have to read seven books while third and fourth graders have to read six. At the end of the year, the two people who read the most Newberry books in each class win larger medals. The school bought special beanbag chairs to encourage the students to read. We can sit in these chairs only if we are reading a Newberry book. There are over 100 Newberry books at our school, and we keep them in a special case in the hall near the chairs. The students can give their reports to their teacher or to Mr. Winsler, our principal. It was Mr. Winsler's idea to start this program and to buy the beanbag chairs. We think the program is a good idea. It seems like once you start a Newberry book, you just have to finish reading it. This past Halloween was a special one for the sixth graders at Fayette. We went trick-or-treating for UNICEF to help the people of Guatemala. Since an earthquake in 1976, people in that country haven't had good food and water. We made $125 and the money will buy medicine and help give the children of Guatemala a better education. Diane Carrington is next with more stories about our school. Last month, the sixth grade classes at Fayette Elementary went on a two-day camp out at Harrison Lake State Park. We had three classes just like we would have at school. One class learned how to make supper, another class was taught how to use a compass, while the third class learned how to measure. We also went on hikes, learned how to set up tents and build fires, and played lots of games. The sixth graders were divided up into six tribes, and each tribe had their own Indian name. The tribes competed with each other to see who could earn the most points from setting up tents, building fires, winning games, and other tasks. The winning tribe this year was the Seneca tribe. In the spring, we are planning to camp out again, and we are looking forward to having another great experience in the outdoors. Can sixth graders teach school? In our school, they can. Some of the students at Fayette Elementary are kindergarten aides. The kindergarten aides work with small groups of children. They help with numbers, letters, shapes, and colors. Sometimes they help the children put their words into small sentences. The aides spend a half hour a day, twice a week, working with the kindergarten classes, and they really enjoy the work. With stories about our community, here's Christy Frederick. There is one person in Fayette who started painting as a hobby, and now she just can't stop. She is Mrs. Ann Shong, and she has made many beautiful things with her talent. Her son, Mark, talked to her about her story. Hobby. When did you get started at painting? Well, I decided about six years ago, uh, my kids were grown up enough that I could start to do something that I enjoyed and wanted to do. How many years have you been painting? Well, like I said, about six years now. What did you do when, what did you paint on often? Well, I like to paint on glass, wood, metal, tin, just about any type of thing. Um, I have done boilers, milk cans, paintings on canvas, a oh, little bit of everything. Do you like to paint? I love to paint. This is my hobby and my pastime, and it keeps me calm down while the football games are on. I go to the bedroom and paint. What kind of paints do you use? Well, I use oils and acrylics, mostly. Fayette is a little town with a big project project is restoring the Opera House. Mr. Spies, our school's art teacher, is gathering people to help fix it up. They want to make it look like it did long time, a long time ago. Work has already started, but there is much more to do. Someday we hope that we can have shows in the Opera House, just like they did many years ago. Now back to Joanne Miller with our final story. There is something new in Fayette that we really enjoy. It is called a tornado slide. The new slide goes around and around three times and it is really a fun thing to use. Can you imagine going down that slide right now?
Thank you for watching News 6. Today's show is brought to you by the 6th grade classes of Miss Mary Bauer and Mrs. Rosie Van Valkenburg. The next, next News 6 show will be December 5th and will feature the 6th graders at Gilboa Elementary School. Have a great week.